Great round of applause. Right. Thank you very much. My name is Sharel, the CEO and co-founder of Communit, the first social relationship marketing manager. What does it mean? To better understand, let's take a look at a company called Wiki Designs, a boutique web design firm with four employees that got onto the social media wave in order to grow their business. One of the designers, Samantha, has taken over the responsibility of marketing in the company. In addition to her designs, she's managing the company Twitter account and Facebook account, LinkedIn, company blog, not to mention the company website. Throughout these various channels, she's getting a lot of engagement, tweets, comments, mentions. She's finding it very overwhelming, but she's doing her best to answer them all. What Samantha doesn't realize is that she's not answering statuses. She's communicating with people. She's building lots of relationships that could give her immense business value. But with all of the social media noise, she has no idea how to prioritize and where to focus. And she often misses a golden opportunity to grow a business. Building relationship is not about answering one status or one engagement. It builds over time. It has a past and a future, not just the present. Building a relationship is what ensures the surviving and thriving of any business. What Samantha really needs is a relationship coach for her business. And community does just that. There are many services out there for managing online statuses and online engagement, but community is the first social relationship marketing manager. To better understand how it works, let's go back to Samantha and her cloud of noise. When Samantha registers to Communit, Communit automatically analyzes the entire engagement history that she had from all of the social channels. Then Communit finds and highlights high-value relationship with different communities, people that, she, that she's important to her and she wants to engage. Then Communit uh, highlights actionable insight for Samantha to do in order to cultivate these relationships and get real business value. Let's, let's take a look at the product and see how it works. So Samantha logins to Community. Community immediately identifies and shows high value members that she needs to act on. So this is a person she needs to reply to. Marissa Myers says something good about a website, she could have easily missed it. Community shows it up. Follow your top engaged member. The people who are really engaging with you in your community, follow them back, make them feel special. Thank your top supporters. Thank the people who really help you spread your word and help you build your community. When community show you a high value relationship, it also show you the full engagement history with that person. So you can better reply this time and also understand the context of the entire conversation. This may seem like small things to do. So you reply a person, you engage him back, you share the love. But relationships are not built about one status and one engagement. It builds over time. And the power of community is that it directs you to the right person with the right engagement at the right time with the full context of it and giving you real business value, enable you to cut through the social media noise and get real business value from the relationships. Community has been active for over a year, fully bootstrapped by the passion of the three founders to, for building relationship and entrepreneurship. We have been lucky to work with amazing customers like Wix and Conduit. And currently, our status is that we have over 200 paying customers. We have 15,000 users around the world who are using Community, And we grow month by month by 20%, which is quite amazing considering the fact that we almost don't have any marketing budget. Our users have acted upon over 500,000 actionable insights. It means that our product is really unique in the sense that it gives them something to act on immediately, and they keep returning to the system and using it. Our business model is mostly subscription-based uh, on the number of engagements and the number of uh, social profile the user has. And we are targeting the huge segment of long-tail SMBs between 0 to 20 employees. There are a lot of businesses out there who start using social media but end up understanding that they need something more in order to grow the business value out of it. To summarize, we only begin to tap into the power of social engagements. Like Wikidesign, every business in the world needs a social relationship manager. And community is really taking it to the next level, turning engagements into real relationships that last. Thank you very much. So 
we have this problem. All right. Okay. Um, and we are shopping for solutions. And one of the challenges that we have is that uh, we have many tens of thousands of fans of, on Facebook. We have hundreds of thousands or millions of registered users. We have uh, many followers on Twitter. We have a bunch of other systems where we have communities. And our biggest challenge is actually connecting them all. Knowing that this person on Facebook is this person on Twitter is this person within our system because they use different emails, blah, blah, blah. Um, how do you tackle such, such a point? Well, the important thing to, to understand is, first of all, since we analyze all of the engagement that each person had with you, in our database we know all of the engagement and all of the structuring, which is by himself huge. Now we take it into something very actionable, like showing you a person to reply or share the love or engage. You're talking about another actionable insight that, sh that says something like, Hi, John, I'm happy to have Saluto. Also, David loves Saluto. Let's connect, something like that. It could easily be populated from our system. Uh, I'm sorry, to clarify, I'm okay. talking about John saying something on Facebook and then John saying something on Twitter. Ah, all right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is definitely the vision that we go to. We, we call it a relationship graph that analyzes all of the relationships, all of the statuses. Because for Saluto, it doesn't matter if a person engaged with you on Twitter and then something, say something on LinkedIn and then wrote something on a YouTube video. For Saluto, it's a potential customer, it's a potential business, it's a potential someone that could spread the word for you. And you want to make sure that you don't miss them. Now, the main problem of social media today is, is everything is real time right now. Not just consolidating all of the service, but really taking it for all of the relationship that it's worth. And this is exactly what we try to do. You can consider it as kind of a social sales force, if you will. Taking the whole concept of social media, which is basically online right now, any status that anyone ever told about TWS will be gone tomorrow. Not in our system. In a year from now or two years from now, NewsGeek could go back and say, ah, where were the supporters who helped me to uh, publish a TWS 2012? Let's say something good about them. Let's return them. Because relationships are built over time. And this is what we do. We take it to the next level. OK. Sharel, um, nice yes. to meet By the way, the guys over there, uh, while you finish asking the questions, you can turn on the lights. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, so uh, m my question is more regarding market size. Uh, the larger the company is, uh, they probably use uh, some agency to, to handle their social media. And if you target smaller, uh, smaller businesses, uh, you know, in many cases, these guys are just too busy running the business and not, you know, managing relationship uh, well, on social yeah. uh, sphere. So I'm just wondering, and I'm reacting to, to what I see here, which uh, seems to me very uh, labor intensive. So I wonder how do you plan to tackle that? Well, when we initially started the, the startup and we gone several uh, phases with it, we met with corporates and enterprise and consumers, small businesses. Th the bottom line is that no one has a lot of time to manage social engagement online. It's a lot of data, a lot of noise. They want to take it outsource, even small companies and corporate, want to take it as an outsource and, and uh, do something with it. But as time grew and as we work with more and more customer, businesses understand that outsourcing of the relationship that they build is basically throwing away business value because no one would take a CRM system and s let someone else use it. And basically what we are saying and the understanding that has become because of the revolution of social media, is that basically it's available as a CRM system. The engagement that comes from Twitter and Facebook, they may seem small, but it's part of something big. Businesses don't want to take it elsewhere. They want to put it inside and keep it. Now, the second point is they don't have a lot of time. So what we do is actually think for them. You saw the Samantha. Now we help the beer, uh, uh, um, a social uh, manager, and uh, we help them basically what to do now? I have five minutes. For example, today when we don't have a lot of time, a lot of people talked about community and we just had a blog, at, a post at uh, NewsGeek and TechCrunch and a lot of noise. I came to the system, replied to three very important people that I shouldn't have, follow several people and that's it. Okay, because we don't also have time. It also cooperates. Um, they don't have a lot of resources to spare more and more community manager. As and they get more and more statuses, they find themselves need to put more and more and more community management. Now we say, don't hire more people. Just improve the software, make it work. Don't hire more community managers that manage statuses in Knox. Hire one that does the important thing right now. All right. 
So I guess following up on Gilly's question, there is a significant number of uh, startups now that are addressing the SMB market yeah. as you are. Can you share with us, please, your strategy about uh, go-to-market? How do you access uh, uh, customers? Yeah. How do you acquire them? How yeah. do you keep them happy and so on? Definitely. So it's a great question, and we, as a bootstrap startup, initially asked ourselves, because there is a lot of competition, and we segment the market of professionals in social media. These are no bullshit kind of guys. They know what they see, they know what they act. And we started by, after a few revolutions, understanding what is the key thing that make it work. We analyze the relationship, but don't show just graphs or analysis, but we actually show actionable insight. Now, when a marketer comes and sees it, he's overwhelmed. And he's just like, oh my God, this is a great tool. I must use it. I must tell my, my, my friends. So first of all, to <laughs> a very uh, long ans uh, answer to is basically we build a great product. And this is what initially got us the first 10,000 users. Because it's basically a word of, ma word of mouth. And the product itself is very viral. I know that people are use a lot the word viral. But in our case, for example, in our example, when I say thanks, uh, John, for being a top supporter this week, we also had a suffix inside by community. So basically, out of the 500,000 actionable insights that perform, we had a lot of VIA communities inside of them. We also have a great widget and an inventory mechanism and all kind of things. So we initially started with the mechanism of viral growth and really great PR by our users. The, the, the next strategy that we use is the community of communities. We use our product to make our own marketing. So it's kind of working because we have a lot of great people that follow us and write about us and share it. So we use our community of community users in order to grow our brand. Um, we are now taking it to the next level, getting into bot users, getting into a low budget uh, PPC and low budget media buying, a lot kind of those tactics. We had a great success with, uh, with the partnership with Buffer, with, uh, we partnership with Buffer recently, which is a buffering status, has got a lot of PR. And basically our long term strategy is to get more buying us uh, bot users because now we are making money and we can leverage it into it. And uh, also partnership with uh, CRM systems for example, that we could leverage their customers and our community and work it together. Because imagine how powerful our service will be if you could engage back, not only with the person who is influencer, but is also a customer. So it will grow the lifetime value and you get more paying customers. And things start to connect. The problem today, there is no community. There is no something that manage the assets of the engagement that you had built over time. And, and this is basically... All right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Before going on to the next panel, uh